So my sunflowers are done now. Now I can start to build pea shooters. And as you'll see, the mine will take out any zombie that walks over it, except for the gigantuan, but <laughs> we're not there yet. That's in a very much later level. So now collecting enough gold for the frozen peas. And the frozen pea shooter... Uh, it, it slows the zombies uh, movement speed and attack speed. So it's very useful. It's just a little slow and you cannot use fire with it. But we'll see fire in a uh, few levels, I think. Not sure if it's still the daytime levels, but... I'm trying to get... Uh yeah, he was coming too close, so I just blow him up. I'm trying to get uh, one of the frozen peas shooters in each lane. And then two of the regular peas, pea shooter. And then, of course, I'm trying to block off each wall, e each of the uh, rows with either a mine or a, a walnut. I would prefer walnuts because they hold off an entire horde of zombies, whereas the mines only blow up one of the zombies. Yeah, that was a strange choice because I I had a walnut ready and I chose to uh, block it off with a sunflower. Not that it actually matters, but I have so much suns at this moment that it doesn't actually matter what I spend it on. Just need one more of the snow peas. That's what they're called. And then I'll, uh, I'm done. So every lane now has slow. And, um, well, I can now plant. Uh, oh, I could have planted the last uh, of the walnuts. And I'm still, uh, uh, yeah, well, I'm still collecting the, the uh, suns where I can. And I'm just putting the shooting things where I can, so... Using a cherry bomb there to uh, make it a little bit quicker. And I have so much money that it doesn't really matter anyway. So a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, shooters here, pea shooters. And I finally uh, am true to the next level. So a chomper. A chomper will eat any uh, zombie that, it com uh, that comes near it. So whether it's uh, a regular zombie or well, one of the really hard ones, the one with the bucket on his head. And now we have to select our plants. 
I'm going for sunflower and walnut, that's the least. Then I need to have an early defense, so I'm choosing the mines. Uh, later on we will see that I'm picking uh, a squash rather than the mines. Because the squash, even though it's 50 instead of 25, it recharges faster and you can place it uh, quicker. Because you can place it and it immediately works on your enemy. Instead of this mine which has to recharge for a while. Or has to, has to charge I guess. And then uh, I'm choosing uh, one of the uh, damage dealing uh, plants. So in this case a pea shooter. And one escape uh, route. So when things go really wrong I want to be able to blow up whatever I want to blow up. So that's why I'm picking the cherry bomb. And then the last spot is for whatever I fancy. In this case the chomper. Just to show what it does. The chomper is really fun. You can uh, win entire levels with it. But <laughs> it's not particularly useful in this... Uh, well, in this stage of the game. Here we get a demo. How it works. It'll just eat the zombie. And uh, well, that's it. So, as long as it's chewing, uh, it's r relatively easily taken out. So you'll have to protect it by placing a walnut in front of it, for example. I'm placing three rows of sunflowers here because uh, the chompers are really expensive. And with the walnuts in front of them, they do rather well. You shouldn't have any trouble at all. Yeah, the bottom one is still eating while the zombie is already approaching, so I'm trying to save it. And it's done just in time <laughs> to eat the next one. But I already placed the backup one uh, to eat the zombie before it, well, it would eat my chomper. So the chompers work immediately after you place them. And they will eat, uh, well, whatever comes near them first. So you cannot actually select which one it needs. To, uh, you want it to eat. So blowing that one up with a cherry bomb to prevent him from eating my uh, my plant. And the walnuts are sacrificial plants, in my opinion. So you can actually use them just to absorb the damage. trying to give my uh, chompers a little bit more time to chew before they get eaten but one of them gets eaten and the second one doesn't because well I have a backup uh, chomper and he, he eats uh, the zombie And I'm just placing some pea shooters. Yeah, the range of these chompers is to only two. So you can put one walnut in front of them, but after that they cannot reach the target. So we get a repeater, who's twice as uh, expensive as the uh, pea shooter. It also fires twice the number of bullets, or peas. Uh, so we're going to select that one. The sunflower, then the walnut. Those are the two standards. You need them every level. And I'm going to select probably the mine, the uh, cherry bomb, and 
as I said, one of the damage dealing plants, but uh, I, in this case, my free spot is taken up by the uh, peace shooter. I don't really need it. I'm probably not even going to use it. Because if you plant two rows of sunflowers and you have an, uh, one of the early uh, killers, so either the potato mine or the. Uh, I forgot his name. The squash. The squash is probably coming after this level. If you have either of them, you can uh, get rid of the first uh, three or 